All right, what's up, dudes? <laughs> We're gonna be installing this uh, Recaro in a Miata. Pretty simple, like, little thingy. Take four bolts out, put four bolts in, plus some uh, modifications for the harnesses. Uh, my friends already got a roll bar and stuff, so should be pretty easy. All right, NASCAR style, uh, removing the seat. Go! Oh, the concentration. Oh, he lagged. <laughs> Look at that. NASCAR. Is he good? Ooh, NASCAR. Um, you know, he's looking for jobs, so if you want to hire him for NASCAR, <laughs> he'll remove your seat for you. Alright. Next thing we gotta do is this requires eye bolts for the harnesses. I have to drill one hole for the eye bolts. They all use standard 7 16 grade seatbelt hardware. So right here got to find a right point to go drill through so it looks like right under here by the transmission tunnel we'll go drill that in just a sec we got some lights here here are the eye bolts with washers and uh was it nuts yeah yeah crotch uh, racing harnesses <laughs> they're all pretty much bolted in right there to the stock seat rails it's gonna go right here you gotta go drill that hole still okay so the hole's gonna be drilled like there's the front here's the back somewhere in this little corner Remove old seat belt anchor point thing. Insert. All right, so scratch that. We gotta add some spacers because uh, it's kind of eyeballs too long. Good old fashioned wrench. Clean that shit up. Nice and snug. Okay. So here's a better look at the seat. It is used, as you can tell. But it'll do for now. He's waiting on a, some other seats. But he's got legit scroll harnesses. Oh, oh, okay. And uh, what's this one? Six point? Yeah. Six point, right? Yeah. Two little thingies down here. The the child holders. <laughs> the child safety holders. It is a rep seat, but this will be going on to the passenger side later. And then his real seat will be going on the driver's side. Just for a second. You need to be careful of the exhaust right behind it. All right. <laughs> While he's under there, checking to make sure he doesn't drill into anything when he drills through this. What, the exhaust is in the way? Uh, not really. Just a it's just bit. getting close. There it is. All right. Got the guns. Measure once, cut twice. Alright, for you for those of you that are probably gonna say, uh, why aren't you helping him? Uh, I am helping him. Let's see. Uh, you need to move it to a little bit lower. Oh fuck, the fucking washers came off. Is it threaded on? Yep. Alright. 
All right, rookie mistake. We need to drill a hole through the carpet too. And we're done. That's all. Try again this time. This time with the carpet behind the bolt. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. First try. And you get your 3 8 Phillips head and just tighten this down. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Looks good. Just need to tighten it a little bit more, I think. But... Cool. Alright, if you're wondering what this thing is, it is the. What is it? Seatbelt actuator thing. But make sure you have a seatbelt on. So what I gotta do to delete this is uh and it's deleted. <laughs> so right now we're just taking some measurements to drill in both the eye bolts for the uh, baby holder straps. Alright, so here's what we drilled the hole for. Put the eye bolt in. So we can attach the uh, baby saver harnesses. And he's over there drilling the other side. And we're gonna put it back on the seat. And then put the seat in and make sure it's at the right seating position. And it should be all good. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Bolt holes aren't lined up, but it feels good. <laughs> Hold up. So I didn't mention earlier, but he does track this car. I probably will get a better walk around when it's uh, not dark and raining out. But uh, just some wheels and tires, whatever. Decent tires. Seat's temporary until he gets his legit one. Got a personal short shifter with an extension and whatnot. And got a phone mount for uh, extra track spec uh, quick release so he doesn't uh, hit his legs getting out roll bar some loud squeaky brakes that turn bronze wheels into matte black wheels oh here we go matte black wheels <laughs> they were once bronze never again but yeah we're gonna keep the seating position yep all right, cool. All right, learning learning tip. Where, where's where's the where's the what's that called? Buckle? This is yep. Where's that supposed to be? It's supposed to be right here, not on your dick. Yeah, on not it? supposed to kill babies. Supposed to save babies. All right. Once you got these things all set up to where you need it to be, roll it up, bundle it up, zip tie, duct tape, super glue, and uh, make sure it doesn't flop around. Time to install this. Final install? Yep. Final install. Minus the harnesses. And we're not going to put the bolts in because uh, we want to do some weight saving. So we're just going to leave it with... Uh, and bolts down with hopes and dreams. Just like most of America. Alright, so we're going to have to delete the door card for now. This little part hits this little part. And uh, it's not going to close, so... And plans were to get aluminum door cards, right? Yep. All right, yeah. More lightweight. And race car. Look at that. Quick release door cards. All right, so we got the crotch belt, lap belts. Now we're doing the heart, the shoulder harnesses. Yep. Yeah, you don't call them belts, huh? Nope. Yeah. So, I might do a little how-to wrap. See. So you want to sit in the seat, buckle it up, test the length.
flip it the right way. <laughs> Damn, looks race car as fuck. Ooh, and show your SFI rated badge proudly. You know? <laughs> How to wrap. Gotta pay attention now. Or just rewind the video. Under first, yeah, okay. Little, little metal clip in front. That's the five part was like right at the, yeah. Right at the hole. Under. You gotta just go three times. Through and back. So over the bar. So under the bar first, over the bar, through the first opening, through the second opening. Yeah. <laughs> then you fold it back over and then it goes through the first section that you put it through. See right here. So that way it locks itself and it doesn't move. All right, one more time, one more time. Under, over and through the first opening. Then just roll through the second opening. Right. That's what it should look like right now. And fold it back over and stick it through the back opening. You know, the first one you went through. And it's good. That's all. So this is cam lock style, right? Yep. Yeah. Boom. Snap. Just like a baby seat. I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store. Yeah. For Shroff. Ooh, 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 race car. Ooh, ooh, bang, ooh, bang, ooh, bang, ooh, bang, reverse, <laughs> bang. <laughs> All right, anyways, got the thingies done. We just need to um, wrap those up and zip tie them. And uh, yeah, it's all done. Ready for the next track day, bro. Yokohama's, bro. Alright, so here's what everything looks like, fully installed, steering wheel, nice and, you know, personal. The Recaro, with the screw off. Looks pretty good. Uh, light's kind of blind, but... There you go. Look at that. The door's closed. You usually want the door closed when you're driving. So hard to get a wide angle. Okay, there you go. Yeah, it looks good. I would ask if you prefer aftermarket versus stock, but uh, aftermarket's better. Looks nicer. And function. Yeah. Okay, rookie mistake. We tighten up these little thingamabobs. So that's uh, buckles. Buckle things, yeah. Buckles, so now it's a uh, 